Hi, I am Scott. And I'm Gordon. We are from Frightened Rabbit, and you are watching Speaker TV. TV. tracks us to Australia is essentially touring here doesn't feel the same as touring anywhere else. Oftentimes touring here feels like we're on holiday. You know, like we get we get a bunch of days off. The the weather, although we complain about the heat, it still makes you feel a lot better than driving rain and terrible cold, which is what's currently happening in Scotland. So staying at home going, oh I don't wanna don't, don't wanna go out again on tour. And then we arrive and it's it's beautiful and everyone's lovely. My favourite city in Australia, not simply because we are here right now, is Melbourne. To me it feels a lot like Glasgow. I have this sense of like there's a creative community, there's a lot going on. It's not um, it's not as quite as touristy as Sydney and I think that that sort of helps to make the kind of atmosphere of a city a lot more uh, homegrown and interesting. So um, I really, really enjoy being here. Because I don't mind being lonely we all met through drinking in the same bars, um, commu you know, kind of, uh, there's a sort of co music community is quite close in Scotland, it's not very big, and everyone kind of knows everyone through various connections, so that's where we got together, yeah, and it's where we, there's, there, like Gordon says, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of smaller venues where you can start your life as a band under the radar and get some practice in and stuff and play to 20 people and stuff. It's a, it's a really kind of thriving music community. The writing process has become more collaborative as time has gone by. We, well, I say we, it used to just be me and I would write all the songs, I would demo all the songs pretty much alone and then the last touches were put on by the band in the studio however this time around we were more, I was more inclined to almost like let everyone else in because I think I was getting bored of the way of, I was working songs were coming out sounding like versions of other ones that I'd written so hence the chaps came in and, and, and lent a hand and I think it's a more diverse and interesting product as a result by the end of the last two albums have been out of material, so it's all been fresh. However, there are there are little bits and pieces that aren't complete that kick around for a long time. So uh, it's it's nice to then find a place for them in something new. But uh, yeah, I've not really. I don't think I've got much interest in in treading or trying to trying to work a song that, for whatever reason, when I was in my twenties, wasn't working because it's probably just shit. <laughs> <laughs> 